Gloucester Lezo was born in 1689 in Parsages in the Basque province of Gapuscoa. Born from a seafaring family he attended school in France and, at the tender age of 12, joined the Franco-Spanish Navy in the War of Succession against England and the Netherlands. He saw horrific combat from early on, and on the Battle of Velas Malaga he lost his left leg after being hit by a cannonball. He continued to rise in the ranks of the Navy and in 1707 participated as a lieutenant in the defense of the naval base of Toulon, where he lost his left eye. In 1714, already as a captain with his own ship, he entered battle in the siege of Barcelona, where he was again injured losing the use of his right arm. He perceived his wounds and physical limitations as medals, refusing to wear an eye patch to hide his blind eye. Wearing his past battles history on his flesh won the respect of his peers and soldiers. Modern sources often focus on these salient features and refer to Lezo with nicknames such as Patapalo, Pegleg, and Medio Homba, Half Man. Still in the siege he achieved one of his most important victories, his ship captured the Stanhope, commanded by John Combs. He alternated between officer positions in the Caribbean and the Mediterranean and was always fighting against piracy. In 1730 he returned to Spain and was promoted to chief of the Mediterranean fleet. In 1732, on board the Santiago, he and Jose Carrillo de Albornoz commanded the enormous expedition to Iran and Merz el with more than 300 ships and around 28,000 troops, comprising infantry, cavalry, and artillery. In the Battle of Ain el Turk, they recaptured the cities lost to the Ottoman Empire in 1708. After the defeat, the Bey Abu I Hassan Ali managed to reunite his troops and surrounded the city of Iran. De Leza returned to its aid with six ships and 5,000 men and managed to drive off the Algerian pirate after a difficult fight. Dissatisfied with this, Leza took his 60-gun flagship into the Corsair's refuge of Mostaganem Bay, a bastion defended by two forts and 4,000 moors, inflicting heavy damage on the forts and town. In the following months he established a naval blockade, preventing the Algerians from receiving reinforcements from Istanbul and thereby gaining valuable time for the securing of Iran's defense. In 1737, he was promoted to general of the navy and left for his final destination, Cartagena de Indias, now Colombia. It was not a peaceful place. The English pirates plagued the Spanish ports and in 1739, the situation became more difficult because of the War of Jenkins Ear. In the context of this confrontation, the English Admiral Edward Vernon decided to bet heavily and besiege Cartagena in 1741. More than 186 ships and 23,000 men set sail to defeat the Spanish port that was only being defended by six boats and 3,000 people. The British were so confident of victory that they sent commemorative coins before even finishing the battle. Vernon did not take the half-man's experience into consideration. In fact, Alezzo had fought in 22 battles, and as an ingenious tactician, he devised that his men would defend the most important points, combined with the mobility of the artillery and taking advantage of difficult terrain that was marshy because of the dredging of a canal. Thus the general did the unthinkable and defeated the most powerful navy in the world with greatly limited resources. Sadly he was injured in the battle once again, but this time refusing medical care that probably would lead to another amputation. He died a few months later as a result of his wounds. Only recently the life and exploits of Blos de Lezo came to life. Others took his victories for theirs, and only with extensive research and documentation, light came upon his valiant history. Today he is recognized as one of the greatest Spanish military heroes. Thank you for watching. 
we ask for you to subscribe our channel and if you like the video, please, press the like button. It will help immensely. From Rex Lusitania, thank you so much.